Okay class, we have one more pest to look at, and that is the small hive beetle. Now the small hive beetle has pretty good distribution in America and in most places that the honeybee occurs. That's because they live in the honeybee colony. What they do is they'll lay their eggs inside the honeybee colony. They can lay it in crevices and corners, or they'll sometimes even lay it on the bee uh, cells and on the brood food. That is the pollen they have stored in the hive. And then when those, those eggs hatch, they become pupa, and the pupae move throughout the colony. It takes them about, I don't know, seven to ten days to pupate. And then they hatch and they eat uh, eggs, pollen, larva, uh, wax, and honey. They, they just destroy the colony, consuming it until they grow up, until they get strong enough to crawl out of the hive, crawl into the ground, burrow into the ground, pupate to the adult. But the adult is a very strong flyer and can fly to look for a new home or reinfest the home that they came out of. Once they've done this, they start to cycle all over again. Now I've put both the distribution map and this life cycle in the course. All right, now this is a look at the uh, small hive beetle in context. This is how big they are in comparison to the bee, and this is what they look like when they infest your colony. So these are the, the insects that you're looking for when you pop open your lid. When you pop open the lid, they're going to scurry to dark crevices and corners. They do not like the light. So make sure you look fast once you pop open that lid if you live in a zone that has the small hive beetle. All right, now this is what they can do to the colony. Like I said, they consume, the po they consume bee eggs, they consume bee larvae, they consume the, the pollen that is stored, they consume the wax, they consume the honey. And while they're doing all this, they defecate and they, they just leave behind a slimy ooze inside of your hive. And that's what's horrible. It's, it, it, it renders the equipment unusable again. All right, let's talk about prevention and removal. All right, it's very difficult to prevent small hive beetles. They, uh, they can fly very far. They're attracted to honeybee colonies. So once they get in, as soon as you spot a low infestation, you need to act, okay? And your best bet is trapping inside the colony. Now there are many traps that are, I mean, that are sold. So it's trapping, oops, that won't do. There we go, trapping. Now the traps are quite simple, they're just a flat piece of wood, I mean a piece of plastic, and they have a little insert. That little insert dips down between the frames. So you have a frame here, and let's say you have a frame here. The flat part will fit across the top like this so it doesn't fall through, and the little bitty whale, it's called a whale, fits between the frames. Now this whale needs to be filled with something. Oil or uh, diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth and traps or the best combination for getting rid of your small hive beetle. All right, now you can also um, um, use insecticides or pesticides on the ground around your hive to kill them while they're pupating. This is called Guard Star. However, Guard Star is poisonous to the bees, okay? So use it at night when the bees are all at home and follow the directions closely, okay? But again, your best bet is trapping in combination with diatomaceous earth. All right, if you have any questions about the small hive beetles, please direct them to the forums.